hey everyone. Hey, hey. Hey, good afternoon everyone. Just punching out for my lunch so I can spend some time with y'all. I finally got on here. Hey, Tiff Tiff. <laughs> finally got on here. <laughs> Y'all know I gotta hype myself up to do a live. Just terrible, just terrible. Have to get myself together to be on here and talk to y'all. <laughs> Even had to do something with my hair because how it was looking before, I did not care. We is quarantined and a bonnet is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Tiff. Because, listen, I got to release this because Jesus been tearing me up with this message saying, you know, you got to release it and, you know, and you got to release it. <laughs> and you can put out all this stuff, but nobody really sees your face. So, you know, it's encouraging me to come out and use my, show my face more and share what he gives me so here it is so i won't uh be long so i want to get on here and talk about momentum if my dog start barking i'm sorry y'all because he just came in here and it could be a squirrel running past the window and he goes crazy but anyway <laughs> so i want to talk about momentum God, um, I went to bed one night and um, before I went to sleep, God showed me a uh, like a glimpse of a train. And I was just like, okay, you know, I'm like, well, God, what does this mean? You know, what does this train mean? So we all know that once a train uh, builds up speed, it's hard to stop a train. Once it goes fast and once it gets to a certain momentum, it's hard to stop it. So I was asking God, I was like, okay, what's going on with this train uh, thing that you're showing me? And so he was telling me about, you know, this time that we're in, this quarantine that we're in. He's saying that he's trying to uh, get people to get momentum in this season. Before it lifts, before this whole thing lifts off and we're free to go outside. He wants us to have momentum. So this is the time where if, you know, he told you, and this this message is really not for everybody. Um, you know, we've seen memes where someone was saying, um, if you're not um if you're not doing anything, you know, in this time, then you know, you just have a problem with discipline. I do agree wholeheartedly that this does not apply to everybody, but this is for those that you know God told you to do something, you better do it. You better get your momentum while you can, while you have peace, while you don't have any distractions, while you don't have anything getting in your way. This is the time to gain momentum. If God told you to do a book, if God told you to perfect your business, if God told you, you know, these ideas that you didn't want to sit down and get together, this is the time for you to get momentum because it'll become such a habit for you. We've been locked in for a month. It takes, what did they say, like around after 20 something days to break a habit. So when you're so just focused on doing your business, you have gained such a habit that when this thing lifts, you're going to continue to work on your business. Nothing is going to stop you from doing what God has told you to do. Nothing's going to stop you. You know, this momentum will be so powerful and so fast that, you know, no one dare to get in front of you because they're going to get ran over. So anyway, the uh, definition uh Webster's Dictionary of momentum is strength or it's a strength or force gained by motion or by a series of events. So you will come out stronger and gain strength when God gives you this momentum. And let's just let aside just even pro projects or anything. What about your prayer life? Your prayer life needs momentum. God will get you to a place where, okay, now I, I can wake up in the morning. I can get up and pray. I can spend a half an hour and an hour to pray. So then now when you gain that, that 
normalcy of, okay, well, I've been getting up at six o'clock to pray. So when this lifts, you know that it's already in you. It's a habit for you. So now you've gained momentum in prayer. So nobody has to tell you when to pray. It's not a struggle to pray. It's your, so you'll just automatically do it. And then also that goes with, you know, just exercising as well. Gain momentum. You know, we have time. We really do have time to get ourselves together, even though it's kind of hard because, you know, we have food and we went grocery shopping. And so now we're cooking all this food. So now <laughs> we're eating it, but you also have time to exercise. So this is the time to gain momentum, even though the gym is closed, even though, you know, it's not really anything outside, but there's plenty of things to do inside your house. So you have to gain momentum to be the best person that you can be once this thing is lifted. So, and you know, that's another thing that God was telling me, you know, a lot of people want to wait till, okay, um, I want to wait till they open up the United States and open up the stores and then I'll get started, but you've already wasted time. You've already wasted time. You should have been prepare. This is a season of preparation. This is a season of preparation in anything that God has told you to do. You know, I'm like to be, you know, just transparent in my own. God has given me so much. It's overwhelming. It is overwhelming. I have to write some stuff down and I came out with a couple of, you know, t-shirt ideas and I've always wanted to do t-shirts and I was just waiting on someone to give me something or, you know, just thought it was harder than what it was until I got this time to sit down and do my own research and look and found how easy it was for me to make my own designs and t-shirts. And I've even done a, a, you know, got on projects that it, you know, for other people. And it just made me realize like, oh my goodness, like, what was I doing with my time? What was I doing with my time before? You know, just just energy just sucked up where I couldn't have time. I would, you know, and I do serve in the church and, you know, and I think that took a lot of my time and that's not bad. But my thing is I didn't know balance. I didn't know how to balance, you know, what God wanted me to do and then also just fulfilling my needs and what I need to do in the church. So, you know, he was just like, this is your time to gain momentum, Rolinda. And then not even just that, um, he wants to deal with us. This is the time that God wants to deal with us on a deeper scale, you know, emotionally, um, just things that we put on the back burner, you know, he wants, he's put us in a season of deep self-reflection. So he's been dealing with me with that. Cause sometimes even before you get to that door, you need to deal with yourself. So, you know, he's dealing with things that, you know, and I would be transparent. I'm always transparent in things because it's always going to be helpful for some, for someone, you know, dealing with emotions and dealing with, um, unforgiveness and, you know, he wants us to deal. Yep, that's right. Yes, we don't want, and we don't, and we don't want to deal with us. That is the hardest thing I think people don't realize that we don't want to deal with us. And God wants to put us in there. They're like, no, deal with yourself. Deal with yourself and let me deal with you. You know, because we, we've been running away. We've been running away from this process. We've been running away from being made. You know, God wants to mold us into this person he wants us to be. So not only are we working on things, but he's working on us and we're working on ourselves. So I just wanted to even just share that, you know, he just was talking like some of my people, they need to hear this because some we're gaining momentum. And then also he was just, uh, showing me i said this maybe last year about um god playing uh chess you know he's not not playing but you know he said it has chess pieces and one day he's gonna have say checkmate so you know are you one of those chess pieces you know how where's your placement on the board he's trying to move you on a place on the board so then you can have a uh, checkmate or, you know, how I don't know. I don't know nothing about chess. But <laughs> I think it's chess checkmate. <laughs> is that what was is that checkers or is that chess? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so he just wanted me to just and go come on here, just encourage, 
you all or whoever's watching, whoever's going to watch the replay to that. This is a season to gain momentum so that when you come out of this season, you won't be stopped. It will be hard for you to stop because if we're asking God for blessings and everything right now, how many of us know? <laughs> uh oh, Thank you, Tiff. <laughs> how many of us know that even blessings can be distractions? We ask God to bless us with something, but, you know, it could be a spouse, it could be a child, it can be, you know, extra money, but we stop what we're doing once we get what God promised us or anything. So he wants to make sure that you gain so much traction that even though I've given you what you've asked for, it's not going to stop what you've been working on, what you've been doing. It's not going to stop you praying continuously. It's not going to stop you working, you know, on your book. It's not going to stop you, you know, from creating. It's not going to stop you from writing that song. It's not going to stop you from creating that company. It's not going to stop you from just reaching higher, you know, until what he's, he, designed for you to do. It's not going to stop you from, you know, just doing from serving. It's not going to stop you. So it's just wanted to make sure that you get in that rhythm. And then also that you know your why. He's, I believe he's revealing, this is just speaking to me now, I'm letting the spirit have his way, but just even just now, he's getting it, God is getting into a lot of whys. He's revealing and unveiling motives um, in people, you know, we've been doing stuff. We've been going through a certain pattern for such a long time that now he's revealing the why he's digging the why out of people. He wants you to know why you're doing the things that you're doing. So if you're doing something that you didn't have right motives, he's going to reveal that to you in this season. And if, you know, he's telling you to do something, you're going to know exactly why he wants you to do it. So then that will ignite that passion and ignite what you need to do, that momentum <laughs> to, to get done what he wants you to do. So um, that's pretty much, like I said, I wasn't going to be long. You know, this is just my first time just kind of getting on here in a while. You know, I'm, I'm going to try to do this weekly, y'all. I'm trying to do this weekly. Um, he wants me to start uh, blogging again, uh, which I have a couple blogs in drafts. They're really good. Um, and then when I blog, then just come on here and discuss it with you all. Um, but that was just the one thing that was um, just in me. Yep. Hidden agendas are will be revealed. Yes, I agree. Hidden agendas are being revealed in this season. If this... This season, I don't think we realize how valuable this season is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Tiff. I don't think we realize how valuable this season is to our development, to doing things in Christ. I don't think we know how much we needed this preparation. We needed this quiet time. We needed this shutdown. We needed to know also how valuable our family is to us. We needed to know how important um, our uh, purpose is. We needed to know all of these these things. And, and we've just been on such a culture of go, 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 go and microwave and fast that we just don't, you know, have real like, yep, and I believe that too. Uh, legacies are being built in this season. Legacy. You know, we're we're helping, we're starting off, we're building a legacy in this season, and that takes time, and you have to be in the right state of mind. And I'm I'm thankful. I mean, even just being an introvert in itself, you know, I'm just like I've always been quarantined, but I am thankful in this season that. He shut everyone down and now everybody is, you know, um, I look online and everyone's having these reflection moments and I'm loving it because I'm seeing God working. I'm seeing him get to the depths of our soul that he's been trying to get to for such a long time and now he's able to do it and I love it. I love it. I love it and um, I just want to hear more of us. I just want to hear the people of God speak more. I want to hear how God is dealing with us. I want to hear, you know, what God is saying in this season. You know, this is not the time to be quiet. This is not the time to 
to, to shut down and hide right now. This is a time to be out and be open and to encourage someone else while we're in our home, while we're not in front of the crowd. We need to reveal, you know, what God is saying. And I know other people are just saying, well, everybody has these revelations and everybody's always trying to have something to say, but no, it's going to help somebody. Like even this, I, I believe, and I hope so. I pray that this will help somebody to give them a push and to know that this is the time to do what God has told you to do. You know, let him start you out right now. Despise not the, the small beginnings of things. You know, it has to start somewhere. Why not Why not let it start now while you're locked in? Don't let the worry of the sickness, don't let the worry of the, the plague and everything wear you down. And, and um, Tiffany, I'm praying for you. You know, you're in the field. You're on the front line. You know, I pray that you don't grow weary. Don't grow weary with what you see. I pray you, I pray strength. I straight pray strength and I pray that you don't, you know, that you don't grow fearful in helping someone. And I just, you know, I'm just praying for you even now um, and your family and the covering, blood covering over your family. So, um... I just wanted to get on here and just say that. I'm adding more on to it like I'm trying to end this video. <laughs> but that's all I want to say. Uh, you guys just, this is, like I said, this is not for everybody. But for those that you know God been tugging on you to do something for a long time. So this is the time to do it. This is the time to gain momentum. So then when you come out of this, the you know, the train to keep on rolling. It's hard to stop a train. I don't think I y'all remember that commercial or you know I think it I think it was like an air company or something but it's hard to stop a train. So just wanted you guys to be encouraged on today and I will I promise <laughs> I'll try to get on here more often. Okay, see you later. Bye bye.